It is good to see you again, my friend. Now I understand why Tuwaka bid me to come here to Hunding's watch. If you are to save the Alakir Desert from the Withered Hand, there are things you must learn from the spirits of this place. Yes, many of them. And pilgrims come from all over Hammerfell to honor them. The heroes of our greatest wars. It is usually a quiet affair. But when one such as you arrives, spirits of friend and foe alike awaken to create a portrait of the past. To teach you, if you are to be champion of the Alakir, you must understand the spirit of this desert and its people. Tuwaka says you must walk in the steps of our heroes, battle the spirits of the enemies they faced, then you will understand. First, you will face the Nidic peoples. When the Ragada first crashed on these shores, the Nids were first to challenge them. Fight the Nidic soldier spirits, claim their essences, and use them to summon and face their leader, War Chief Hakon. That was the name of our Yokudan ancestors during the exodus from our ancient homeland. After Yokuda sank beneath the waves, they sailed here in search of a new home. Their coming was not peaceful. You see, the term Regada means warrior wave. The Nidic peoples were the ancient ancestors of our human kin here in Tamriel. Those who dwelled on the Isle of Hearn had long struggled to resist the elves prior to the Regada's arrival. Upon seeing the Yokudan sails, they took up the sword again. They struggled mightily. We honor their bravery. But no, they fell before the Yokudan onslaught like all the others. Yes, my friend, albeit slowly. Not all heed Tuwaka's words as I do. When the Withered Hand is no more, we will have much to do. All the corpses to be clean and dressed. Zet's tears. We will need more throne keepers. Of that I am certain. In our fight against the Needs, we saw the raw power of defiance. We came to respect Tamriel and its warriors. You must now battle the giant goblin kin. The Regatta's long road to conquest was paved with thousands of these beasts' corpses. Such things are difficult to imagine, yes. In those times, goblins were mighty beasts and their cruelty was not tempered by cowardice as it is now. Their filthy strongholds littered the sands of Hammerfell like a pox when the Ragada arrived. Horrible indeed, 
Our Yokudan ancestors could not tolerate such a blight on their new homeland. They would suffer no rivals, and so one of their mightiest heroes, Frandar Hunding, rallied the swords of the Ragada to slay the beasts. Ah, Tuarka claimed him during one of the bloodiest battles of the campaign. But his son, Divad, filled with wrath over the slaying of his father, soon rose to take command of the Ragada. He swore to avenge his father, no matter the cost. The song of Divad tells us that he and his band of sword singers worked their sacred forges and consulted eldritch tomes for many long years to create five great swords. With these blessed blades, the Ragada forever vanquished the giant goblins. Well, Tuwaka tells me that you must do battle with the spirits of the long dead giant goblin king. To what end? I do not know, but only fools doubt Tuwaka's wisdom. I need help. Ironically, it was in our fight against the hideous goblins that we came to love the desert and its simple beauty. Now you must face the proud orc warriors of ancient Orsinium. The fight for the orc city proved to be one of our greatest trials. It is the heart of Orkdom in Tamriel, settled at the foot of the Rothgarian Mountains. It is a city of simple things, towering and cold. It has been raised and rebuilt countless times. The Orcs are a tenacious people. Conquerors is a strong word, but yes, of course they were. Ah! Our ancestors and the Bretons laid siege to the city for 30 years before finally breaching the walls and raising the city. The orcs proved to be fearsome adversaries. You must face the ancient orcish specters in battle, and then summon and defeat their leader, General Theshaga. Tawaka says there is great wisdom to be gleaned from this.
will defend our land! swords of Yukuda were not often sheathed. A long siege of Orsinium taught us the value of patience. Now you must face the forces of the Breton king, Joal, a treacherous asp, whose lust for power led to broken alliances and countless sorrows. He was the king of Daggerfall during the siege of Orsinium. The embers of the orcish hold had not even cooled before he took up arms against our ancestors, his former allies. He was slain by a heroic sword singer at the Battle of Bankarai Pass. You must slay the perfidious spirits of King Zhuol's Breton army. Then King Zhuol himself, I suspect. Duwaka shall be watching. You served your purpose, now you will die. Jual's betrayal taught us yet another virtue. Caution. Wariness. We remain slow to trust, but loyal beyond measure. You have reached the summit. The make-way god sees much at this height. Have you learned the greatest lesson of this place? The greatest lesson of Hundig's watch is this. Wars are fleeting. But honor is eternal. The dunes of time are ever shifting. Kings rise and fall. Cities are raised and rebuilt. Alliances are forged and broken. But honor, glory, legend remains. Your valor strikes a mighty bell. The heroes have come here themselves. Nakela Leki, Derek Hallen, and both Frandar and Divad Hunding. Their spirits have come here to meet you, to challenge you, and to teach you. No, you will not cross blades. The sword singers were as much mages as warriors. They sought strength of body and of mind. These spirits will speak to you. Choose your words with care, though. Tawaka says they seek to teach and to test.
We must consider negotiation, my son. To the dogs with that! Hera has killed my mother. He killed your wife. What you say is true. But many more wives and sisters will die if we take up the sword. This cave has made a coward of you. We must fight! To choose for oneself is simple. To choose for a nation is hard. The heaviest blade is as a feather compared to the trust of one's people. Abide with me, and listen carefully. A tyrant threatens your people. If you submit to him, and become his willing thrall, your people will be shown mercy. If you attack, you and your people will be driven from your homeland, and exiled to the sea. What do you do? Submission would have brought peace, yes, but at what cost? All that Yokudo was and is finds its source in the blade. We could not waver. Even so, there is always cost. I chose the sword. Many and many were lost. Was this the greater good? I spent my early years as a maiden of the Spirit Blade. As early, as early as I can remember. Great heroes often carry the greatest regrets. They lie buried in the sand with the bones and broken blades, hidden, forgotten. I had many stories to pass on, but only one is known. Hearken to me. You have won a great battle and covered yourself in glory. But you are gravely wounded. A magical memory stone will allow you to record your last thoughts. Do you think of the battle recording history? Or do you immortalize your beloved family? The battle was important, yes. But is love not also worthy of remembrance? I thought of my training and the details of the battle, but as I turned my thoughts to family, death silenced me. Now they are forgotten, lost for all time. Goblins approach, my lord. They will slaughter our scouts. We must hold this pass or the war is lost. Their sacrifice will be remembered always. Many of our noblest warriors will be slain. How can you turn your back to them? A goat will run if you strike it. A jackal may bite if you give chase. Only man can choose to do nothing. The path of restraint is often the hardest. I pose to you a question, one that still haunts me. You are a scout for a great army, perched on a mountainside. In the pass below, a band of enemy soldiers slowly approach the position of your dearest friend. Do you abandon your post to help your friend, or do you remain hidden to report the attack? Yes, your friend may die if you do not render aid. But if you fail to report the assault, is not the entire army put at risk? How many men could lose their lives for this one soldier? One's loyalties are truly put to the test. The blades are forbidden. We must not use them. Without them, our people, our civilization will die. Taking up those blades may lead to something far worse than death.
All choices exact a toll, Wayfarer. Some are trivial, but some... Some linger for generations. I was forced to drink from a bitter cup in my time, and all Red Guards have paid the price. I wonder if you would have made the same choice. Giant goblins. Beasts thought conquered by Divad have returned. The fight goes poorly. You know the location of powerful magic blades. They are dangerous. They were hidden for a reason. Do you seek out the blades, or fight on without them? You would have met a glorious end. We chose the blades and destroyed the beasts. But as a result, the Shahai, our spirit swords, were forever destroyed. Centuries of wondrous tradition was snuffed out. I must bear this weight, always. Waka tells me the heroic spirits have returned to bear slumber. Ah, only Tuwaka has such knowledge, my friend. I could barely hear you from here. Luckily, Tuwaka has shared some of his wisdom with me. Tuwaka tells me that you are bound to the greatest of Red God virtues, honor and loyalty. You are drawn to great summits and glorious ends. Hold fast to that courageous spirit, but know that sometimes we must make sacrifices for the greater good. What? No! I simply thought you'd like to know what Tuwaka thought of you. He is an excellent judge of character. No. The real lesson of these heroes is that legend always carries a price. You must be prepared to pay that toll when it comes. Duwaka extends his hand. You need only enter the portal, and you will be transported back to the desert below. Please, tell me you have seen her. Shiri, the scholar's apprentice. Have you seen her? She had the ancient text from the Withered Hand Necromancer at Tava's Blessing. She was supposed to go back to Bergama, but she never made it. We knew Shiri believed the Third Ward was here, and that you came this way, so we were hoping. Alas, there is one other place she might be, but I am too weak to make the journey. Will you take on the search for Shiri in my stead? It is not just Shiri. It is the text she found at Tava's Blessing. Scholar Zore says it must be kept away from the Withered Hand. Shiri has a cousin in Satakalam, Nahira. Please, you must go and see if Shiri is there. Thank you, my friend. Prince Azar said you were indispensable. I now see why. You do an old soldier a great favor by helping. I hope Shiri is not hurt, and even more so, I hope that text has not been taken again by the Withered Hand. I was beset by many troubles on the journey from Tava's Blessing. Scorpions, Dune Rippers, and then, not far from here, I was ambushed by the Withered Hand. I managed to kill the dirty dogs, but not before they had hurt me pretty good. Yes. Yes, I just need time to rest, to eat, and to properly bandage my wounds. Finding Shiri is too important, though. I would have made myself go on, however slowly, if you were not here. I do not know, but it is all we have to go on. Scholar Zore was almost certain Shiri would have come here, but she suggested Satakalam as her next guess. Shiri was not close to her cousin, but Zore said she planned to visit Nahira someday. She needs to take that text she found in Tava's Blessing and bring it back to Zore and Bergama. If you are willing, I would suggest you escort the girl there yourself. She seems to have a talent for getting lost. I feel so the Withered Hand comes with Satakal's Blessing. Shiri, 
I do not know this name, nor do I know anything about any Onsei ward. I know only that Satakal will soon devour himself, devour us all. We must warn them. Or must we? No, it matters not. 